Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from January 29th to February 4th, 2024. Leos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Leo's weekly money and career, January 29th to February 4th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. Yes, uh, there will be another free reading up for grabs for this month of February, February 2024. So if you're just popping in and discovering this channel, welcome, welcome. Or if you have been here for a while and are used to these weekly money and careers and enjoy them, welcome as well. Uh, all you have to do is be on the here out for that magic word at the end of the reading. Put it down in the comment section and be subscribed. And I will pull one name out of uh, all the subscribers uh, and uh, deliver the name or announce the name at the end of the month on a live. Yes, I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested in connecting with us and joining us, that would be wonderful. I do collective readings. And for members, if you're interested in supporting the channel a little bit further and becoming a member, all you have to do is click on membership and it'll take you wherever you want. And it will give you access to free questions on the live. All right, if that's anything you're interested in. Okay, here we go. Lots of cards popped out. Leo, weekly, money and career. January 29th to February 4th, 2024. Let's get cracking, Leo. Let's see what energies we have. Page of Swords, exciting. New idea, new intentions, new energies, inspiration, intellectual inspiration, a lot of conversations, debates, curious, witty, chatty, right? What's going on? There's something brewing there or something you're excited about, about an idea or all of a sudden you're joining people on a project, on an idea, in a job where people are pretty excited about what's going on. It feels like you're in an environment where there's a lot of ideas, a lot of discussions, right? Uh, maybe those um, conference rooms or just uh, debating or uh, just brainstorming for the next new idea. Maybe you're writing, maybe it's creative. Doesn't have to be, right? But it feels like there's a lot of debate, maybe even a little gossip going on, but it's a, it like sort of a nervous energy. Uh, maybe you're training, maybe you're at school, maybe you're apprenticing, maybe you're learning new skills and there's a lot going on. Let's see where this is going. Page of Swords, King of Cups, there can be a water sign around you. This can be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a boss, someone very stable, very emotional, st emotionally stable, right, That that knows how to filter their emotions as they get through all these conversations and um, maybe a lot of information. I don't know why. Maybe this is news. Maybe you're learning. Maybe you're a journalist or maybe your environment is in a very news environment, right? Whatever it is. I don't know why I'm saying that. The tower, okay, while well, you're getting information and you're shifting, there's this is a whole new way of seeing things. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, and the world. It feels like, it feels like, first of all, it feels like there's a lot of people involved in this. You might be getting 
extra education, you might be taking classes, or there's a lot of people involved in a community, a project, a business, whatever it is. There's a lot of ambition there and a lot of goals. But it feels like there's a big shift in the way things are happening with the tower. Where all of a sudden you're realizing things are going to be different. Maybe there's a shift in management. Maybe there's a shift in goals, in the way of working. Or maybe you are changing your goals. For some reason, this Knight of Wands is making me a little curious here. Knights are all about movement. But the Knight of Wands is a little, is adventurous, but a little light on their decision making, in other words, or impulsive, not light, a little impulsive. Uh, they like to enjoy life, they're chatty, they're, they're the perfect person to have around to entertain, lovely, but a little impulsive in making decisions. And, but it feels like, so that can be someone around in the group. It feels like you're in a group energy, three of pentacles, you're building something, you're working on a project, you're working in a community, it's a new business or a new career or a new job, whatever it is, you're not alone. It doesn't feel like you're alone. It feels like it's a new idea. Maybe you're working with younger people. Maybe you're working with younger inexperienced people or maybe you are inexperienced and you're learning you're apprenticing and you're learning as you go on this new job new when i say new i feel it's new with this tower um it's a new way of working a new way of seeing things but the knight of wands back to this knight of wands the knight of wands is um someone that wants things to happen sort of quickly overnight without having, I don't like to say that, having to work too much, right? So maybe that's someone around you, that maybe that's someone, because I don't feel like this is you, Leo. I don't feel like this. If it's you, you have an energy and an inspiration to push forward on this adventure, right? But so maybe you're a little impulsive and maybe you want it to go faster. Maybe you want it done yesterday and you're sort of rushing into this without too much thinking or without thinking of consequences. And maybe you don't have much of a clear of a, ta uh, of a plan, but... I don't think it's you. I feel like this is a group situation where things are shifting, things are changing, and it's important to wait. There you go. You have the temperance to wait for a better opportunity to pursue this idea or to wait until things settle down, maybe until there's a new team in place or maybe into there's a new manager in place, new decisions in place because of the tower, things are shifting, changing completely, right? So this is the opportunity to wait and pause until things sort of settle down and you have a clear view of the situation of the idea, how you're going to build and participate in this project, business, career, whatever it is. And you have the world. So you are at a crossroads. There's one cycle finishing. Maybe you finished a cycle and got a diploma at school and now you're entering the workforce and now there's a lot going on. Managers are changing budgets are changing, different point of views, a lot of discussions, and you have to wait it out. Or or you're shifting jobs, or you're within your job, and things are shifting and changing, and you're closing a cycle, and there's a new team coming in, right? A new budget coming in. Whatever it is, it's a big brouhaha, right? If I can say it that way. So it's important 
to sort of wait it out. Because there's a new idea, you're working on a new project or you're developing a new idea, but you have to wait until things settle down or the money comes in or the new manager comes in or something like that. That's the way it feels. Yes, and there's the devil. So the devil indicates that, you know, yes, there's a lot of passion going on in this. And comment down below. Let me know what this is all about because it feels very passionate. It feels like it's a great idea, great community or great project, but it's not quite there yet. And there's maneuvering going on and there's reorg going on or rebudgeting or whatever or rethinking. Um, and with the devil, I'm reading this both ways. It's sort of you're attached to this idea. You're attached to this team, to this company, whatever, or this school, right? But, and, and, and it's a, a great idea. And you want to participate in this great idea, right? It, but it's a new cycle now. So whether you're in the same company with the same people or in a different job, it feels like you're sort of attached to a certain way of working. You have your routine or, you know, you have your comfort zone or you're, you're just very passionate about what you do and you're sort of tied either by contract to this company, to this project, or you're sort of, you have ties to maybe the people leaving or ties to certain ways of working or a place or a team or people or your coworkers, right? You're tied to something, but it's changing and shifting. Let's see where this is going. And maybe that's why you have the 10 of swords because, and, and the tower, because you're tied by contract or you're tied to this project, whatever it is, right? To this job. Um, but no matter what, it's going to change. The people might change. The philosophy might change. The management might, might change. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. And my energy is just slowing down. There we go. Taurus Virgo Capricorn doesn't have to be. But there's someone there strategizing. Committed to work things out. Reorganize. Take the time. Take the time out to think about it and think on how we're going to budget this and remanage it and organize it very loyal very committed but taking their time not rushing in now this can be you understanding that it can't be impulsive anymore that it has to be thought out meticulous taking your time to um have a vision and reorganize. So if this is maybe even your business or your idea or you are leading a team within a company or something like that, you're, you're shifting from... Oh, let's see where this goes because I think that I'm trying to figure out if you're shifting from very well organized, taking your time to put everything in place to it needs to go faster, 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 or the opposite. Let's see. I'm, um, I'm trying to check out these energies. All right. Let's see where this. Uh... Okay. Yeah. So. You have several options there, and it's a bit confusing. What are you going to choose? How are you going to work this out? And there's a lot going on, and it's a little... Let's see. Let's see where this is going. You have to... Clearly, you have to make decisions. Yes. Clearly, you have to make decisions. And clearly, you have to let go of something. And maybe that Knight of Wands kicks in at that moment where you're a little destabilized. And so you're a little more impulsive in, okay, I, I have to hurry up. I have to make that decision. Let's just 
do this and let's just make it happen. It doesn't really matter how it goes. I, I just want to make it happen, right? Or I just want it to be over. But you have the Ten of... Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is probably involving budget. It's probably involving money and having to let go certain ways within that job. You have the death card. So no matter what, this is the death of a phase, the death of a, a way of working, right? It really, really feels like new management. And maybe you are in the management. And maybe you have to make big decisions and there's a lot on your shoulders, but you have to let go certain ways, certain people maybe, right? With this, with this, um, yes, yes. There's, it's really, you're going to move into calmer waters. You're going to move into a calmer energy once everything settles down. <clears throat> but I really feel like, you are in the management as well. You are calling the shots as well or having to make big decisions. Hence the death card and the tower. You have both. Now, it can be the end of a job, but I'm not reading it that way. Maybe for a couple of people, you have a loss of a job and um, you're moving into something else right? Taking your time to rebuild. But for me, I, at this moment, the energies are like a lot of turbulence within your company or this job or even your business, right? If it's your company. Um, but it, as much as we have the tower and the death card, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm reading or feeling it as a complete reorg with massive decisions to make, but not the end of the company, not the end of, right, the end all be all. Yes, there's a lot of discussions. Here we have the King of Swords. We have the King of Cups, water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the King of Swords, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the, the Page of Swords, but I'm reading that as ideas and a lot of discussions. Oh, and, and we have the Knight of Wands, which is you needing to needing for things to speed up and, and you're getting a little impulsive. Here we have, there, that calms everything down, the high priestess. So it seems like you have to open the doors to more information, more skills, more people, maybe with more knowledge. Aha. Uh -huh. So maybe you have to contact people with more knowledge. Maybe this company or your company or your job requires people to come on board with more knowledge. Or maybe you have to step up your knowledge, take classes, uh, get that information online, online classes, whatever, right? Uh, training, um, something it, it, to make decisions and to move forward into something calmer and and find that sort of financial stability or get back to a stability, you have to open up to more knowledge or the company must open up to more knowledge. Maybe expand their territories or just get other people on board, like I said, that have knowledge or more experience in the field, right? The Sorry, the high priestess is that awareness, awareness that things are changing, awareness that we have to change things and we have to do things in a different way or we have to allow other energies to come in to figure things out. Our energies are not enough. Our knowledge is not enough. We have to go find knowledge somewhere else to shift things, to unblock things or to solve a, solve a problem, to find solutions. So here reaching that higher state of awareness, you're realizing or they're realizing or everyone's realizing here 
that the power of um, this knowledge or the power of understanding is to develop or to seek ways to develop more skills, right? And so this is facing problems and allowing this knowledge to flow so you can find solutions and allowing a new sense of knowledge to flow. It's really refreshing. It really feels like whatever this is, whether it's your company, your project, or working in a company, even if it's a vast corporation or a small project, it doesn't matter what it is. The energies are understanding that you need more or other. You need to open the door to other people, to other people's knowledge, to other people's energies, ideas, philosophies, money, budget, whatever it is. It's allowing that change to happen. Massive change right? You have the devil and you have the tower and the death card. Massive change with refreshed new brains, ideas, knowledge, budget, whatever it is. I like it though. I like it because the conversation after the panic, because we have the devil and I'm reading the devil as sort of a panic, panic because we're tied to old ways, Panic because we're used to the same old, same old, same type of management, same type of budget, that routine, that day-to-day -day routine that we're sort of tied to, and that's the way it is, and it never changes. Or well, here it's changing. But it's changing because people are becoming aware that there's no other choice, and there has to be a change. <clears throat> very, very interesting reading, Leo. Very interesting. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, let me know where you stand and if you connect with these energies and if you do, what it's all about because it's 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 a, a state of awareness that I don't always feel in in a card reading. Yes, three of swords. I'm not surprised. There, there has to be. You have to. You have to let go something. Right, It's really the death of a phase, of a cycle, or a way of working, a way of seeing things, right? And I think you're realizing that, that that's no longer working, but I see you, but I really feel like it's a, a group of people, right? Opening up to something more understanding, more valuable, more interesting, maybe to develop more ideas, right? And... Um, it's really let going of the letting go of the past and these doors are opening up to something else that you can embrace a new opportunity or new opportunities right so it might be hard in the beginning uh, a lot of impatience a lot of impulsiveness because uh, it's a little bit of a panic but it feels like after a while as things settle down Everyone, I'm putting a, more than one person in the group here, is sort of um, seeing the importance or the promise of a renewal, a transformation. And then if you resist, you're going to stay in the same old, same old lesson not learned. And you might experience either, you know, the cutoff or the pain or the disillusion. Learning to let go of unhealthy attachments really brings you to the next level, to something with a much more deeper meaning, more satisfaction, but also more knowledge here in this case. Five of Swords, let the swords down. We have the Five of Swords. I think you're, you understand that this is moving in the right direction. Even if it's uncomfortable, it's moving in the right direction. Two of Swords, yes, lots of decisions, lots of conversations, lots of maybe disillusions in the moment, but really leading to something bigger and more interesting. Very, very interesting reading, um, Leos. Um, 
For me, the magic word is knowledge, opening to knowledge. So whatever you decide, whatever you connect with most, knowledge or opening to knowledge, um, it will be the magic word or or the energy to put down below in the comment section if you want to put your name in the list for a free reading or just share your energies to empower others. I always say I want to feel like this platform is a little more than trying to get a free reading, but also to share, to share motivations, to share positive energies, to share um, ambition, manifestation, inspiration, any shin you would like, right? Um, so I wish you empowerment and knowledge here, um, Leo, in this weekly reading. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one from the bottom of my heart for supporting this channel. If you wish to support a little more, uh, you can become a member. That'll give you access to a question on the live. Uh, if that is anything you would be interested in. But most of all, thank you. Thank you for your beautiful, beautiful energies, Leo, and your beautiful support in this channel. Thank you to all. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.